everyone, it's Rebecca here from Vanity Studios. We hope you're doing well during this lockdown. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, so hopefully soon we will be back in the studio with you guys creating some more amazing images. Uh, but for the meantime, I'm still in my bedroom, as per usual. <laughs> Now we get a lot of questions asked about boudoir photography, so we thought we would go through the top 10 most asked questions that hopefully will shine a light on boudoir photography for you. So firstly, what is boudoir photography? So the term boudoir photography is used to describe a number of things. You could have pinup, fetish, tasteful nudes, lingerie, or even just a shot that has a hint of tease. Basically, it refers to anything remotely seductive. <laughs> now, how far you go with that is completely up to you. <laughs> There's a common misconception that boudoir shoots are completely naked, which, you know, if that's what you want to do, go for it. Why not? Nothing's stopping you. But it only has to be that if that's what you're looking for. The majority of boudoir shots do have lingerie, you know, glamorous hair, glamorous makeup if that's what you're looking for, but simple, messy hair, natural makeup, and an oversized shirt can also look really, really great. It's very much customizable on what kind of look you're looking for. So the second thing we get asked a lot is what is a boudoir shoe actually for? Now, there are many reasons that someone could book a boudoir photo shoot. I'd say the majority of shoots are usually for a partner, say. Um, which is always a great Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> Could also be a really great pre-wedding gift as well. However, by far the most popular reason, and in our eyes, probably the best reason, is super, super simple. One, body positivity, and two, a confidence boost. The best reason. <laughs> when you're creating these images for these reasons, boudoir photography never fails to make you feel empowered and full to the brim with self-love. Honestly, it's the best feeling. Number three, can you do boudoir with a partner? Here at Vanity, we say absolutely, why not? At the studio, we have done so many couple shoots of this kind of nature before. Again, these can vary from, you know, your classic topless, skin on skin shot, um, ranging all the way up to getting your PVC out and getting your props out. It honestly has such a wide spectrum. <laughs> But again, it's completely customizable to you guys. So whatever kind of style you wanna do, we can do that for you. If it's something very simple, then go for it. If you wanna do something a bit more out there, go for it. <laughs> it's always a really great option maybe for an engagement gift or an anniversary. It honestly never fails to please. Number four, we get asked this quite a lot, is can men do boudoir? Now, some people find this quite controversial, but here at Vanity, we always say, why the hell not? <laughs> of course, of course. Boudoir is simply a style of photography. And if that style is essentially sexy, then it's for anyone. Men in boudoir has even been referred to as doudoir before, which we love, it's amazing. <laughs> we have done countless of suggested shots with men, everything from underwear to even, you know, spraying them with water and oil just for that kind of like out of shower look. Honestly, men's boudoir is super, super popular and really, really great. Just kind of shows as well, there's no limitation to boudoir style. Number five, we have do older women do boudoir shoots? Of course, a hundred percent. Always, we love it, it's great. <laughs> there is nothing more empowering than a woman who celebrates herself at any age. We've had women in before who come in to do a boudoir shoot to celebrate their 60th birthday. They're honestly just the best shoots. It's such a great way to feel fantastic and to completely defy the norms. We love it when a client comes in and they are just unapologetically who they are. And boudoir photography is such a great way to showcase this in an image. Another question we get asked a lot is how do you build up the confidence to do a boudoir photo shoot? Now, this is a really great question purely because there is an unbelievable amount of people, I guarantee, who want to do a boudoir photo shoot, but they think they lack the confidence they need to do it. It's a kind of fear of the unknown. What if, what if this happens? What if this feels awkward? 
people kind of dream up ideas in their head of what it's going to be like. They imagine being in front of a CD photographer who's going to make them feel super awkward. They're going to have to do poses that they're not comfortable with. The images are going to show their cellulite and make them feel horrible and really unforgiving poses. That is simply not the case. None of this happens. An experienced photographer has seen everything everything you can imagine and they are experienced enough to know how to pose you and what works well for you. Before the photo shoot a photographer will always go through with you what kind of look you're going for so they know what kind of poses and positions to put you in to make sure that you will always feel comfortable. The only confidence you really need is to get up, stand in front of that camera and then after that everything else is easy. It's really not as scary as you think, I promise. <laughs> So we get asked this a lot, it's are boudoir photography images photoshopped? Please, please, please do not believe the images you see on social media or on the internet or in magazines, wherever, because they've gone through a full photoshop transformation. Do not believe those. Here, we believe less is more. At Vanity Studios, when you first see your images, that is how they were taken. No editing, no retouching, nada. Boudoir photography is to show you. And if you really want you, something going through the works on Photoshop is not going to do that. However, if you do want a slight tweak, that's definitely doable. We can do that for you. <laughs> Question number eight is often asked, who can see your images after the shoot? Now, here at Vanity, the viewing sessions are completely, completely private and so is the photo shoot itself. So the only people that will be seeing your images is the photographer taking them is the private viewer, so the person who's showing you the images after the shoot, and then if you did want some retouching, slight tweaks, then a retoucher will see them as well. But those are three people. Two people usually, but three people maximum. Once you've selected the images that you like, any other ones will be deleted, completely deleted, removed from the system. They will never be put onto any social media or anything unless you say we can. But if that's not the case, everything is wiped clean and you take your images with you and you go on your merry way. <laughs> Number nine is, has anyone backed out last minute? Now, they may have thought it, they may well have been thinking, I'm not sure I want to do this, this is terrifying, but no one has ever backed out, never. Once people are in the studio, uh, they've been greeted by our host, they've got a, maybe a glass of wine, a glass of Prosecco, you've had your makeup done, you've had your hair done, you're kind of raring to go. The scariest, scariest part is actually booking the shoot itself. Once you're there and you're in that atmosphere of creative people who are all here to help you achieve the shots that you want, you kind of just go with it. And like I said before, if all else fails, we have wine, we have Prosecco, you'll be fine. <laughs> and last, by no means least, the question we often get asked is, can you go extreme slash fetish with your look for the shoot? Now for us, you can do whatever you want. If that's what you want, go for it, do you, be your best self. You can honestly go as far as you like because at the end of the day, it's your shoot. It's your shoot, that's simply it. Boudoir photography is about whatever makes you feel good. We see this a lot that as soon as clients are here and in the moment and are really enjoying themselves, they kick themselves because they think, I wish I bought my most daring outfit now or I wish I just went a bit more extreme. People kind of think they need to adhere to these kind of social norms, but this is the place to kind of let yourself go and do whatever you want. It's your shoot. So if you want to go a bit extreme, a bit fetish, go for it. This is the time. It's you and the photographer. And the photographer, you even forget that they're there. I've done many a boudoir shoot. Honestly, you forget they're there. So if you want to do something a bit out there, go for it. And believe me, we've seen it all before. So don't worry. <laughs> but there you go. We're done with the boudoir questions. I honestly could not recommend doing a boudoir shoot more. It's just so empowering. And if you haven't done one before, maybe give it a go. What's the worst that's gonna happen? You're gonna have a great time. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. So give us a follow on there. Thank you so much for joining us and we will speak to you soon.